Well, here we are, back at the Alaska Bourbon Cabin. I'm Dylan. I'm Connor. Today we got Widow Jane colon Decadence. I was ecstatic to find this bottle at Three Bears. Why? This, so Widow Jane Decadence maple syrup barrels. So, maple syrup bourbon. It sounds... Perfect. Like like match made in heaven. Yeah. Like uh, yep. Widow Jane, big name out there. You finish a bourbon in maple casks. Right. Seems like it's been opened. Uh, I have been no no uh, no stranger and not shy in trying this. Okay. So I'm excited. Batch number five out of last year, out of 2022. So I am excited. Would already, I know we haven't gotten into this. I'd buy it again. Okay. And I've only seen it once. Bought it the one time. I'll do it again. Allocated? You know, I didn't research in terms of allocation, okay. in terms of if it is actually allocated versus just small production or limited release. There is magic um, in a small batch. And I don't know. I don't know how much comes to Alaska. Let us know. This is the only time I've ever seen this that I got it um, about a month and a half ago. Never seen it before up here. Let us know if this is just on the shelf in your guys' area. Um, I suspect, having watched other videos, probably not. Um, it does seem like it. Uh, the Widow Jane stuff is harder to find. But, a little uh, harder to find. Let us know. Hmm. Okay. Definite sweet on the nose. I get sweet, but I don't... I'm not getting any maple. I would not pick maple out of that. Nope. <laughs> mm. You know, so I've been trying. It smells mid proof. What is it? 120. 145. Oh, it's a little lighter than I thought. Oh, 91. Yeah. Yeah, 91. I For some reason, I thought that peaked 100, but. Oh, well, then it definitely smells hotter than it <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, 91 proof. Hmm. Okay. Well, cheers. Let's get into it. Ooh. Sweet. Definite sweet on the palate. Ooh, yeah. But not not um not an artificial nor would I say even overpowering sweet. It's a pleasant sweet. And I don't get I don't get maple. Mm. I I get it in the mid. Do you? It's subtle. Mm. No, it says maple syrup casks, right? Let us, uh, maple syrup barrels. So let us know in the comments if you know more about maple syrup production than <laughs> we do. Are, are they aged? Or are they just stored temporarily in I, you I, know, Are those also charred barrels? I don't know. You know. And, and from a bourbon world, are these, you know... New American oak? Are they French barrels? What does what it even do? matter? I don't know. Okay, somebody in the uh, the maple syrup line, reach out to us. Let us know. And I know you're Canadian, so. And let us know if bourbon finishes in maple syrup barrels. Do we ever finish maple syrup in bourbon barrels? I'd buy that. Just to have. It, it's got to go both ways. Oh, back to the bourbon. Back to the bourbon. Hmm. Okay. I like it. It's it's a little flatter than I desire in a bourbon. Which maybe that's the ninety one proof. It's not a hot proof. It, it it's not. Be, it definitely tastes ninety proof. But I'd be afraid if you got too hot, too hot with this, that it would overpower some of those flavors. So maybe that's why it is only a ninety one proof. I can see that. Now, full disclosure, I, I had a sip of this when he got the bottle, and I was disappointed. Not a fan. I I wanted it to be. Maple -y. Second time around, I enjoy that it's a subtle, but to me noticeable. Maybe you still don't get it, but I get a little bit of maple in there and I enjoy it. So I get, and, and maybe this is cutting hairs between maple syrup and syrup, but to me, I see maple syrup and syrup as different things. I'd agree. So I get local diner 
out of the plastic container syrup mm. that you dump on your diner pancakes. I get the opposite. Not Canada oak leaf, forty dollars a bottle maple I get syrup. Your fancy ass Canuck, you know, forty dollars like a bottle. Like maple leaf glass. Really? Gotta buy it at the duty free. Oh, yeah, no, that's the kind of maple I'm getting from this. Okay, they only sell it at Trader Joe's, or you know, don't find that on the normal grocery store no, shelf no. here. Like, really? There's that, like a black market Canadian <laughs> maple okay. syrup, eh? Hey, <laughs> maple syrup, eh? <laughs> Man, well, let us know if you're smuggling oak leaf <laughs> maple syrup from Canada over to Alaska, because we're closer than most of the rest of the U.S. to Canada. So we disagree on this. Is what I'm getting. You, you get the well, cheap Jemima, and I get. I the, do. Uh, okay. I get cheap okay. Jemima. I do. Nothing I do, against Aunt Jemima. She's a G. Much respect. I do. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. To me, I, I get the fancy like, you know, you're a kid, you go to your your rich aunt or mm-hmm. uncles, and you're like, got any syrup for these pancakes? And they hand. A, 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 an eight-year-old like real maple syrup, and you're like, "What is this shit?" You know, this ain't corn okay. syrup. <laughs> okay, interesting. Yeah. So now, biggest question: ninety-one proof, tough to find. Mm-hmm. One, are you gonna hunt this bottle? Hmm. Ooh. I I have as if I didn't have this, right? If you didn't have access to this, no. Are you gonna hunt it? No. No. Like I said, I like it, and I think that maple flavor is well done, but does this bottle, for lack of a better or less kinky term, wow me into submission? No. It, it's okay. good. It's unique, but it's not anything I'd really write home about. I'd be like, yeah, I had okay. a good tasting maple bourbon, but... It was a little bit maple and that's all I can really say okay. about it. Okay, so I'm not going to disagree. I think where I sit is that I'm going to have no problem drinking this. I'm not going to complain about it. Agreed. I'm not going to search for a backup to have a second one to not finish this. But when I finish, I'm going to put this Widow Jane Decadence back on the back of my brain and just keep an eye out for it. I'm not, I'm not driving cross-country for it. I'm not putting in any raffles for it. I'm not you know, using my raffle ticket or paying above MSRP for it. But it's going on my list of, it'd be nice to just always have one. Not an extra, always have one. I could create it. And, and based on its, the rarity of it, and based on how good it is, if I saw it in a liquor store, even if it wasn't payday, I'd probably buy it. Okay. MSRP, do not, do not pay above MSRP no. for this bottle. No. Don't. It is not worth it. It is not... Not that it's bad, but it is not worth the uh, hype. I guess. No, no, yeah. it is not. Don't pay MSRP for this bottle. Okay, what would be your rating on the grand scale of bourbons? This is, uh, and I don't even have to write this down. Are you? This is as average. It's tough. I, I say as average, but it's not a fifty. It's not that low. When I say average, I'm thinking 70 on the dot. 70.0. Oh, okay. 70 on the Guess dot. Guess what I just wrote down. <laughs> 69? No. No, I'm saving 69 for something oh, very okay. special. That's, that's why it is a 68.9. Oh, okay. I feel like 69% has to be... <laughs> it's got to have a sexy label. That's what I'm looking it's for. Gotta it's got to have a sexy label. It's got to be sexy. Yeah. yeah. And Widow Jane does not scream sexy to me. No, it does not. So, yeah, I, I agree. Is it above average? Absolutely. Is it anything above above average? Okay. I mean, just like my test scores. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you heard it here. Don't uh, don't go hunting decadence. Don't go pay it above MSRP, MSRP for it. If you never had it and find it on the shelf, snag one. Good for you. Heard here at the Alaska Bourbon Cabin. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>